So now in earlier videos we made comparator circuits when I had the input at a higher voltage than our reference voltage the output was high red LED is on when the input went uh, lower than our reference uh, voltage then the output went low red LED turns off in this circuit so I was careful to avoid a uh, middle ground region where it kind of flickered on and off sometimes this will happen rapidly if you get some noise or uh, something and so we didn't really encounter that in uh, those videos when we used the op amp but um, there you can see that uh, we may not want to have a comparator that uh, changes right at a certain voltage like that it may uh, flicker on and off and whatnot so there was noise for me uh, wiring it up I was bumping other stuff so in any case now I have to uh, lower the voltage to get below the reference voltage and you're going to see something that uh, the voltage from the signal suddenly dropped right there now I'm going to raise it up a little bit and you can see that uh, when we got to the line it jumped up a little bit and the signal keeps uh, bouncing around a little bit when I move wrong so there you can see so that is uh, hysteresis that we got there the we got positive feedback so that the voltage when the uh, input gets higher than our reference voltage it pushes up even higher so we have to drop it down a bit extra before it will uh, drop low and then it drops lower and holds it lower so we got to overcome that as well so coming to the schematic diagram, we see the op amp wired as a comparator. We got a reference voltage, we got equal value. All the uh, resistances are 10 kilo ohm in this video, other than the current limiting uh, resistor for the LED. So it makes things easier. But in case we got a reference voltage to the inverting input, when the voltage at the non-inverting input goes higher, you get a high output, red LED lights up. And when it drops lower, then you get a low output, which uh, does nothing for the LED because it's connected to ground on both sides. There's no voltage difference. So in any case, now we added a what's called positive feedback. So that means the output is fed back to the non-inverting input right there and helps uh, make the voltage more like the output, which as we said before, you go higher than the reference voltage. The output is higher, which raises it even higher. That's why we saw that jump going up. And when we drop lower, then the reference voltage that drops the output low pulls the voltage even more down so we saw that sudden dip in voltage as well we couldn't see what the trim pot was doing that's how we'll see the hysteresis we'll see where the uh, the higher or upper threshold is or the uh, and the lower uh, threshold also you get uh, more hysteresis with a lower resistance and less hysteresis with a higher resistance so you can adjust it as needed so of course we have to power the integrated circuit. The output is the top pin, pin number one, with the resistor and LED. They're in opposite order, the schematic doesn't matter. We got our voltage divider here, giving half the voltage to the inverting input, the uh, second pin down. And then we have our uh, signal there to pin three with our output to non-inverting input uh, positive feedback resistor. So the LED is off, so we know we need to raise the voltage. So uh, when the LED turned on, that was the upper threshold. When it turned off, that's the lower threshold. So you can see that middle ground region, that's our hysteresis region right there. So in any case, this video went on really long. This is my short video series, so I'm going to end it there.